So 66, so 1966, Olds 442. Um, I mean, I, I do have a relationship with, with the builder, you know, and he kept telling me, you know, he said, I have this one, you know, it, it needs you to touch on it, you know. They definitely want like a stock style, like a custom stock style interior. We kind of, you know, kind of call it like a, like a deluxe version of stock. So yeah, we basically just based that, like the door panels, the, the seat design, everything is going off of 1966 Oldsmobile 442. I mean, it's a, you know, you look at a picture of that, it's it, it's it to a T. You know, everything, even though we scratch built everything on there, like the door started off as an aluminum based panel and, you know, we created everything you see. I mean, it, like the factory trim was re-chromed. Most people look in there and you just think, oh, this came from the catalog, this came from, you know, no, we, we made, you know, we made that. The back seats we built for the car, it has a different chassis on there. It, the, the factory frames didn't work. We hand built that from, from, from nothing. It's got GTI, Volkswagen GTI front bucket seats for the car, which this guy was like, you know, I'm gonna drive this car from coast to coast. I love, you know, actually, and he has a GTI, so he loves the feel of it. Um, we did take the factory design and put as much as we could onto that seat, and, and you know, which I think it translates you know, as much as possible. We did decide to, to go with uh, the Carlisle Bluebell for, for this project. Um, very nice leather, has a super soft hand much like almost nothing else that we really work with. Um, very clean hides, it was, it was good. It was a good experience, but it was the first time using it. It won't be the last, I'm sure. Yeah, so the main deciding factor for figuring out the Bluebell on this car was definitely the color. Um, you know, usually uh, an owner comes in and he goes, I want a blue interior, I want, you know, whatever. So we, we kind of, you know, I'm like, okay, well, you know, do you want dark blue, do you want light blue, do you want, you know, sky blue, yeah, you tell me what you want. Um, and then, yeah, it basically was just a matter of me dialing it in, and it was kind of—I I honestly was at like my wit's end. I couldn't—I couldn't quite find what I was looking for, and I have a giant stack of uh, samples of the end of Moore and Giles, and it was like six, seven o'clock at night. I was leaving, and I kind of like the lights were almost out, and I—I I was in my office, and I just real quick, I was like, let me just go through these you know, through the Carlisle samples, and I'm like. Well, you know, what do we got here? So lights come back on and come back in and with that I call you know, Christmas sales dude and he's like two, you know, two days I can get it to you kind of deal and, and that was the rest of his history so we just got it rolling. The soft subtle sheen everything everything you know about it worked. Um, it, it was a perfect choice I think. It's gonna be a pretty stout build when it's all said and done. It's got a um, full modern it's a versatile shop chassis so it's a full it's going to run and drive like a modern day vehicle. It's got a, a supercharged LS8 en you know, engine in it, which is basically like, have a, like a supercharged Cadillac or a Corvette. Um, it's, going to run, it's going to be a handful. It's going to be a beast. It's going to be a full package, and I think the, the interior is going to help kind of bring it to the next level or one step above. <laughs>